Hey what's going on guys, Luis here and the Samsung Galaxy S6 will be announced here in a couple of months and this is going to be Samsung's best chance of reinventing the Galaxy S lineup which is really really popular and a lot of people like it but it has been a little bit stale over the past couple of years. So I'm really excited to see what the Galaxy S6 will offer over the S5, an already fantastic phone but it did have only a few upgrades from the S4 so we're expecting the S6 to have some major upgrades and more features that we can use on our daily basis. So as you guys know, Samsung is pretty much well known for using plastic on every single one of their flagships and you could almost expect the Galaxy S6 to almost have a completely polycarbonate body but the Galaxy Note 4 last year introduced a metallic or an aluminum chassis so you could expect the Galaxy S6 to definitely have that same chassis and probably an improved body. Definitely expected to be a lot thinner too at 6.1 or 6.2 millimeters thin and that's going to be competing directly with the iPhone 6 so that's going to be really interesting to see and expected to be weatherproof so shockproof and waterproof like the Galaxy S5. So the screen on the Galaxy S5 was one of the best ones of 2014, although it was a little bit saturated and it was Super AMOLED, but we're expecting the Galaxy S6 to have an even better, if not Quad HD, at least 4K display. Uh, we're not sure if that's entirely true yet, but it might have a 4K display with a better panel. Honestly, I just don't think we're going to have a 4K display on the Galaxy S6. Uh, it's a little bit too soon, but those are definitely coming and I'll probably make a video uh, in the next couple of months about that so if you don't want to miss it definitely make sure to subscribe right here and as far as the size goes we're expecting Samsung to bump up the screen size to a 5.2 or 5.3 inch display which is honestly the perfect size at least in my opinion and since the Galaxy S5 did have a fairly small footprint I don't think this is gonna be a huge phone like the iPhone 6 Plus or anything like that it's actually gonna be relatively easy to hold so with the latest version of Android Lollipop supporting 64-bit architecture, you can definitely expect the Galaxy S6 to have a 64-bit processor, which we have been waiting for a long time. It'll most likely be the spanking brand new Snapdragon 810 processor, which is octa-core, and it'll be coming with the Adreno 430 GPU, which will be 30% better for games and movies. And some rumors are indicating that the Galaxy S6 might have a total of 4 gigs of RAM, which might be a little bit too much at least in my opinion I mean we're only seeing uh, laptops these days have at least that minimum and 4 gigs of RAM for a phone might seem a little bit too much but the latest version of TouchWiz might actually require that much memory so we're gonna have to wait and see what Samsung has under its hood and in terms of storage capacity you can definitely expect the usual 16, 32 and 64 gigs across all US major carriers the camera on the Galaxy S5 was one of the best ones I've ever seen out of any smartphone and we're expecting the Galaxy S6 to have a 20 megapixel camera with a larger lens that will be able to take better photos in low light. And according to ET News, and I'll leave a link down below, the Galaxy Note 4 was actually supposed to have this 20 megapixel camera originally, but Samsung dropped it because they were saving it for the Galaxy S6. Unfortunately, don't expect it to have optical image stabilization as this phone is going to be really thin but I am looking forward to see how this camera will perform when it's released. So apparently Samsung wants to get rid of the current fingerprint scanner that is on the S5 and make it a physical one like Touch ID on the iPhone. And it'll probably have the same heart rate monitor that we saw on the S5 that no one really uses, but it'll be there so you can definitely expect it. And some other rumored features are a UV scanner, fast charging, and um, an eye sensor, which is not happening. It's just not happening. So when can you expect the Galaxy S6? Well, it'll most likely be announced at MWC 2015 later in March at the same price point as the Galaxy S5, if not a little bit higher. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And today's question is, what do you want to see the most on the Galaxy S6? Definitely let me know your answers in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos such as comparisons, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.